Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Welcome Irish fans to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray. I'm Jack Nolan, joined as always by the head coach of the Fighting Irish and coach we love 2-0 and weeks, but in the Big East, 1-1 one one weeks aren't bad. 1-1 one one weeks in this Big East are not bad at all, Jack. A, a gutsy win in overtime against DePaul, but a tough loss against Syracuse. We turned the ball over too much. But since you lost Scott Martin, who was a real leader of this team, at one time the leading three-point shooter in the conference, you're 3-1. and one. That's pretty good as you continue to reinvent yourselves. We're still in this reinvention mode, and we're still improving with Tom Knight in the lineup, Zach August coming in and playing with two big guys to be three and one right now after losing a key guy I will take that when we come back we will take you to Rosemont Illinois just north of Chicago for all the highlights of the 103rd meeting on the basketball court between Notre Dame and DePaul the world was recently shocked to discover a primitive society they may not appear so different but these people are still using outdated satellite TV They've never lived in a world with Xfinity On Demand. Never known what it's like to catch up on the latest shows anytime, on any device, and they have no idea what they're missing out on. Wait, wait, are they signaling us? Nope, just adjusting their dishes. <laughs> they do that a lot. Don't settle for outdated satellite. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Dad, listen, we're gonna go broke unless we figure out a way to divvy up the oh, shared Dad. data plan fairly, so. Uh, whoever's fathered the most children gets the most data. Let's just do it by hair. Body hair? Most dental work. What? Stop downloading and stop liking everything. It should be by who has the least amount of cartilage in their left knee. Just want to take a bath. Say no to sharing. Say yes to Sprint. With truly unlimited data, text, and calling. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. We had to help him into the locker room. It may be a believer. Not in luck or faith. You can see how exhausted Michael Jordan is. But in the will to win. You win from the game. Classic performance by Michael Jordan. I'm accounting. Peter. Uh, I can see that you're busy, uh, but you were going to help us crunch the numbers for accounts receivable today? I mean, I know that this is important. Well, both are important. They Let's are. Get clear. Uh, but this is, this is important, too. The receivables. Michelin knows it's better for Xerox to help manage their finance processing so they can focus on keeping the world moving. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. I know you were caught up in the season, but I got to ask you, what does it mean to you to be tied with Louis Carnesecca for fourth place on the all-time Big East coaching wins list? It's uh, very humbling, Jack. You know, you look at uh, Louis Carnesecca, uh, a Hall of Fame guy, a guy that I've gotten to know, and he's been kind of a little bit of a mentor to me since I've been in the Big East. And then you look above you on the Big East list, and John Thompson, Jim Beheim, Jim Calhoun, Carnes, those guys are all in the Hall of Fame. So to be like on a list near them, humbling um, and very powerful to me. And I know it is your goal to continue moving up and you tied Louis with a big win at DePaul. That was a key win for us, you know. Uh, boy, the, the DePaul-Notre Dame rivalry is still there and, and when we part ways as far as league members, we are going to play a non-league game. But they get out of the gate pretty good, you know. They're, uh, uh, they, they had a lot of energy in the building for us. They were waiting for us. Nice drive by Jaron and a dump off to Jack Cooley for a three-point play. 
ball screen. We had to ball screen a lot. Cameron Bishad picks up with what he did in the Villanova game, making some big time jump shots. Eric Atkins has gotten one or two of these a game where he cheats up on the outlet and gets a steal. Ball screen again. Eric with a nice read and a left-handed layup off the board. Eric Atkins was fabulous running the show for us. Out of bounds under situation. Great cut by Pat Connaughton right there. I think he can do more of that. Moving without the ball. Ball screen, we roll it hard, we kick it back to Tom Knight. Mid-range jump shot for Tom Knight is a good thing for us. Eric Atkins again, he gets another one of them. And then we find Cam over there. Misses, but Tom Knight on the board. That's one of the things we've stressed, Jack, is our two big guys going to the offensive board. Good cut right there by Eric to clear a side, to give Jack room. This is kind of a new move for him, and I think he can do that. A little bit of a fade jump shot. Jack Cooley just playing well. Nice drive by Eric Atkins. Zach August off the bench. What energy is this guy bringing us off the bench? Here he is in transition, getting down the floor. Look at him running right here. Striding out, Eric gives him a little lob and a big put back right there. We're playing zone. We go zone and that really helped us. Eric picks the pocket. We're running the floor right here. And who else? Zach August again on the board. Six points off the bench on dunks. That really gave us some life. Nice pass underneath to Jack Cooley by Eric Atkins right there. Penetration, kick. Klahar was a big guy for them, not only scoring the ball, but his ball pressure on our guards disrupted us and got them back in the game. They take the lead right here on a baseline drive, and now we're in one. We're up 12, and now it's game situations, and I really loved how our group reacted. We defend and rebound right here to finish regulation, run a little set for Jaron. He refuses the ball screen and a strong drive and dunk on the baseline right there. Penetration, pretty good defense right here. Great defense. Body position, Jack just stays on the floor, gets a block, and then recovers the block shot. Jaron with penetration and a kick to Eric Atkins. How about that shot? Eric made some big plays for us uh, down the stretch and in overtime. Pretty good. De this is really good defense. Tough shot by a good player in Cleveland, Melbourne, who can really score. We made big free throws down the stretch and in overtime to make this thing interesting. Another situation here where we drive it. Eric does a good job adjusting, and Jaron finds him. That's a big three-point shot to start overtime that gives you some breathing room. A foul off the ball, and Atkins at the line sticks the free throws to really give us some breathing room, and now you're really you know, looking to solo it away. How about that pass? Roll, Tom Knight gathers himself dumps it to Jack, and that, that's a gutsy win for us uh, on the road against DePaul, who really played great in the second half against us. There are your final stats, Coach, from UND.com. You had a monster game from Jack Cooley, 26 points and 16 rebounds. Amazing what he did. I'm so thrilled that he did that back with all his people in Chicago. He's always fired up to play in Chicago. He was a machine. Irish fans, don't go away, because coming up, we will take you into the visiting team locker room at Allstate Arena to hear what Coach Bray had to say after his team's victory over the Blue Demons. It's, uh, it's tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. Tremendous. Say hello to McDonald's new tremendous. CBO. Smooth cheddar, crispy bacon, grilled onions on the Angus Third Pounder or premium chicken sandwiches. CBO, the simple joy of tremendous. Yeah. For an incredible world, you need an improbable vehicle. So we engineered the new Mazda CX-9 to be both spacious and agile. We designed it to be utilitarian, yet stylish. And we made the CX-9 sophisticated, but kept it within reach. The improbable is now possible. Introducing the Mazda CX-9. Reimagined for 2013. We build Mazdas. 
What do you drive? At Meyer, folks are surprised at the brands they find at such low prices, like Sarah, who recently discovered the joy of cooking in her own place, or the Andersons, who are taking their recent health kick to a new level, or Maria, whose passion for baking has outgrown her hand mixer, and Tom, whose technology advisor just convinced him to upgrade. With so many great brands at low Meyer prices, everyone can save on the things they want. Experience the savings, experience the difference. Meyer. What a great win. Unbelievable mental toughness. You know, they make that run on us. The building's going crazy. I loved our poise. That's the first time, I don't know if we've been in something like that on the road yet. And we really, you know, we were so determined and focused in timeouts. Love how cool, you know, the cool head we played with. And we really defended and rebounded <coughs> those last four minutes. I mean, well, really the overtime. We really kept it to one and done. Very proud of you. We are getting better, man. We are getting better. Let's get out of here. You know, Coach, after losing a 12-point lead in the second half, to outscore a team 9-1 on the road in overtime is very impressive. I think that's powerful, Jack, and I think it shows our focus and mental toughness because that atmosphere, their students and crowd were ready for us. Very proud of our team to scratch out a road win. Notre Dame's veterans no records don't matter in Big East play, especially this year. Every victory is something to be cherished. I mean, it's extremely tough, and it's just every team is a battle every game, and that's, I mean, that kind of, exemplifies how everyone says that a win is a win no matter who you're playing. I mean, that's because a win is a win. I mean, it's a tough game even against Nepal, who's a great team. you got to enjoy it. It's the Big East. I mean, you don't go to the Big East expecting it to be it's just soft basketball. You go here to play tough. It's always tough, you know, people playing on their home, uh, on their home floor. You know, teams are always going to have that extra juice, you know, be able to make that extra shot. And, Coach, that's the kind of focus you need your players to have in Big East play. It doesn't matter if the team's only got one win in conference play. If you're not ready to play, you can lose the game. No question. Any league win is something to be celebrated. And uh, we certainly enjoyed that one for a few hours before we started to get ready for Syracuse. And when we come back, we will take you to the Carrier Dome for a matchup with the Big East top-ranked team, the Syracuse Orange. You know, Coach, in a 15-team league, to have two of your players honored in the same week says a lot about the level of your program. Very powerful, and I'm, I'm proud of Cam, you know, to be the Rookie of the Week. and He is starting to really feel like a college basketball player. I don't know how Jack Cooley was not Player of the Week with the numbers he put up, but to be on the honor roll, uh, very deserving. And Jack's been just a consistent machine-like guy for us. Carrier Dome, always a tough place to play. Largest on-campus venue in the country. 2-3 zone is always tough, but this year's Orange 2-3 is maybe tougher than most. I think it could be, Jack, because their guards are bigger and longer up top, and they really defended us. They gave, a, gave us real problems early in the game. I thought we turned it over early. Here's one of them. You know, for our guards to turn it over as much as they did, uh, probably isn't going to give us a very good chance to win. Here we hit the high post versus zone, and we get some pretty good movement to get a three-point shot. You know, Zach and Tom overall did a good job handling that ball in the high post. Scott Martin may be the best in the league at handling it up top. Jaron with a shot, I thought he took it, and the Grants were there in full force. It was an interesting night with Jeremy Grant playing against Jaron Grant. We get a post feed. Jack sits on the middle of it. We tried to get more of those. We couldn't. They took those away. Cam with a uh, jump shot. Great move by uh, Tom getting an offensive rebound and a kick out. You've got the lead. And, and we're back. After a 10-0 start where we're in the hole, we come back and take the lead. End of the clock. Tom with a nice turn and finish right there. We get it to that short corner. High post touch. Real good cut by Cam out of that high post touch and a good pass by Tom Knight out of it. Screening opportunity there for Jack and Pat with a strong finish around the bucket. And you know, we're, we're scratching and clawing after, you know, being down 10 nothing, Big time, but we go zone and Fair gets behind and gets a strong put back. We don't get a block out right there. We go small and put four perimeter guys and Cam gets a jump shot in the corner and we're finishing the half with some momentum. I like the momentum we're finishing the half with. We, uh, we let Trish get by us on the dribble too easy up top. Pat has to help. Jeremy Grant really feeling good about his mid-range jump shot. He's feeling good about his jump shot too. Jaron sticks it. And we're down six right here. This is pretty good at the end of the half, end of the clock. We get Pat on a cut, but God, we do a poor job defending here at the end of the half. We don't have matchups. I don't know what happened there. 
and all the momentum you thought you had, you lose going in at halftime. Second half, high post touch, ball reversal, drive the gap. Tom with a 12-footer. You know, that's a great shot for us. Jack really working to get to the offensive board. Uh, and, you know, we're hanging around. Pretty good defense right here. Jack with a block. Tom comes up with it. A good outlet. We're off in transition. Little weird here with it, but we get our hands on it. <clears throat> Pretty good here. We kick out to Cam. I love Cam's penetration and a nice pass to Jack. And yet again, you're down six and you're, you're right on the edge of this thing. You're right down on the edge of it. Trish gets by us in penetration, but pretty good defense. Pretty good defense, but a put back by Christmas right there. We don't block out, and that hurts us. We go zone again. They turn it over. We're still hanging around. Jaron with a hard drive. You know, I think you, I think he got fouled right there, quite frankly. But, you know, we're on, when you're on the road, you're on the road. And then they come back. That was a big play. We don't get anything down there. Cooney hits a three. And really, after that, the whole complexion of the game changed. You know, they roll off a ball screen situation. We can't rotate. And they really earned it. They defended us, Jack. I thought we missed some good looks. But a lot of it was because they rushed us with their length in their zone. There are your final stats. Nine of those 14 turnovers came in the first half. And it was a tough shooting night for your team. You did hit six threes. But you probably need a few more against that 2-3 zone. You know, any time we've had success against Syracuse, we've made eight plus threes. You can talk all you want about inside attack of a zone and screening the zone. you got to make some jump shots over the top. Fans, we do not limit our inside Notre Dame visits to the Irish postgame locker room to just wins. Here's a look at what Coach Bray had to say to his team after they came off the floor after their loss at the Carrier Dome. You know, we probably turned that thing over a little bit too much for us, especially in the first half when we were trying to get control of the game. Um, and you know what? We had some really good looks that didn't go in, and we got to just keep shooting them. We'll get those back. We, had, we really had great looks. We're 6-4 and four in this league. You know, it's, it's, we won three in a row. Now we took a punch. Last time we took a punch, you know, we came out of it pretty good. You know, I know you've, you've got to pick your spot. You can't hammer them all the time. After the St. John's game, it wasn't pretty in the locker room, but it wasn't a lack of effort at the carrier, Dom. No. no, and I think hammering your team is overrated at this point in time. You know, uh, there may be too much hammering going on. Most of the kids that play this game at this level want to be good, and their bar is really high. And so for us, I try to just look at the big picture of things for us to regroup and come back and see if we get a home win. Coach answers this week's Ask Coach Bray question, and Jack Cooley runs the inside Notre Dame basketball fast break right after this timeout. We love seeing you at Bank of America. Well, we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America mobile banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. <laughs> Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! This is Satellite Radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Bray question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Kevin Doherty of Olmstead Township, Ohio. He asked, Coach, how much is the geography of your NCAA bracket placement a factor in your team's confidence and ability to compete in March Madness? Oh, that's an interesting question. Maybe I haven't thought that through. You know, we went to Indianapolis on a bus ride and played pretty well. We went already out, all the way out to Spokane and got beat. We went to Denver and played well. I, I don't know how much that is a factor. Maybe because if it's closer, more of our fans can get there, and that would make us feel comfortable. But it's something you have no control over. No, we have no control over that. They do try and keep teams 
a little closer to home, especially the higher seed teams. Uh, so it's an easier trip, maybe a bus ride. There are some bus rides in these first round sites. You know what? The, it's tough as it is to get a bid. We, we just want in, man. We just want in. Send us where you're going to send us. If you would like to ask Coach Bray a question, all you have to do is log on to und.com and click on Ask Coach Bray in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. Jack Cooley made the Big East honor roll this week for his outstanding play on the court. Now he'll try to make our inside Notre Dame fast break honor roll with his answers to our questions off the court. First car you ever drove? Uh, Nissan Xterra. Do you have a celebrity crush? Hayden Panettiere. Favorite ice cream flavor? Cookie dough. Favorite part of practice? Scrooging. Worst part of practice? Curls in the lane. Best part of your game? Uh, post moves. Team not on the schedule you'd like to play? Duke. Favorite Notre Dame game day uniform? The black uniforms. Best thing about playing in Purcell Pavilion? The fans. Funniest thing Coach Bray has said this year? Uh, there's too many to remember. Assistant coach who's most like Coach Bray? Um, coach Inglesby. Player on the team most likely to be on the cell phone the longest? Can't be shut. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Um, Burger Town, and it's awesome to forget. Player most likely to become a coach? Um, Scott Martin. Best dunker on the team? Uh, Pat Connaughton. Worst dunker on the team? Tom Knight. Free throw contest, who wins, you or Coach Bray? Me. Most of the time, I think so, but you've been pretty good recently. I have. I've, I've been shooting pretty well in that, that coach's challenge, but, uh, you know, Jack, it's just neat to see a young man now, a captain, a guy so confident in how he's playing. He's, he's, uh, he's really the energizer of our team right now. And so confident in the spotlight, answering questions yeah. on TV, and that's part of this program, developing young men, because that'll help you whatever you do the rest of your life. No, no question about it. He, you know, he was a guy that shied away from it, um, but uh, it, it's neat what I do to see him as seniors going out the door as young men ready to attack the world. Coming up, we'll take a look at another challenging week for the Irish in Big East play. Bob, these projections, they're optimistic. Productivity up, cost down, time to market reduced. Those are good things. Upstairs, they will see fantasy. Not fantasy, logistics. UPS came in. Analyzes supply chain, inventory systems. UPS. UPS. Not fantasy. Who would have thought? I did. We did, Bob. We did. Got it. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Well, coming up this week for the Irish, a tough home game against 11th-ranked Louisville, followed by a very important home game against DePaul. Well, Louisville, a great team coming in here. I think they're back in rhythm after dropping a couple in a row there. They're, we're going to have to attack their pressure. We're going to have to play against their zone. We're going to have to shoot it better. And then DePaul comes right back in here, and we had a dogfight with them in Chicago. Two important home games. When you look at the difficulty of your schedule the rest of the way, DePaul's almost critical. Yeah, it, no, DePaul's as big as any game on our schedule, uh, and, and we have the toughest Big East schedule remaining. So for us, we have to have very short memories after wins, after losses, on to the next one with energy. Coach, thank you very much. That will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. Next week, we will have all the highlights of the Louisville and DePaul games and preview Notre Dame's seventh Saturday-Monday turnaround of the season. Until then, for Coach Bray, I'm Jack Nolan. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.